Hi, I'm Nancy Rathbun. Thank you for purchasing our Curve It Up Block of the Month by So Kind of Wonderful. Today I'm going to be demonstrating block number 11, which is the Drunkard's Path block. So for the Drunkard's Path block, you're going to have squares that are cut the same size of your background and of your focus fabric. So what I've already done is I've already marked up from the corner on both sides um, the four and a half inches and those are going to be our marks where our quick curve ruler is going to be cutting the curve. So you want to make sure that that mark that you did is right in the opening of the curve on both sides and that your center line on your ruler is centered up with the point. So each piece is going to be equal. So some takes a little bit of rotating, I'm just kind of moving it around until it gets to that point in both of the points that you marked. And then you're going to take your rotary cutter and you're going to cut that opening. Now we're going to be using both of these sections when we sew, so we won't toss either of them. One section will be sewn with the background fabric on the in curve and the focus on the out curve and the other one will be opposite. So you're going to cut all the blocks exactly the same and then we're going to sew these together to create these two curve in curve out looking blocks to sew our drunkard's path together. I'm getting ready to sew my next colored background. So I've got always on the bottom this L shape and then atop will be my quarter circle. And I'm going to start with about a quarter of an inch from the edge. I'm going to take my first few stitches and lift up my presser foot and then I'm just going to keep doing that and drawing my edges together. So I'm going to have a little bit of extra on each side of that L-shaped piece and then this will be pressed and squared up. So now you're ready to square up your block and you'll want to follow the detailed instructions in your um, Curve It Up pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the curve here and we're going to match that up with the three and three quarter inch marking on the ruler. So this is going to get squared up to four and a half but we're looking at this marking here and here so that they're all even. So then you'll make your two cuts. And you're going to rotate that around and now you're going to line up that inside cut edge with the four and a half marked line on the inside of your ruler. And you'll square all of your blocks up just like that. Thank you for watching our Curve It Up Block of the Month block number 11 demonstration on the Drunkard's Path block. You only have one more block to go and then we'll do a finishing kit for the last setting of the quilt, including all of the sashings and the borders, and that will be in December.